morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the ECG recording unit and in detail, we are going to discuss about analysis of ECG curves. ECG recording unit. The block diagram of ECG recording unit consists of the following blocks. Defibrillator protection circuit, lead selector, power supply unit, amplifier unit and output unit. Connecting leads to the patient electrodes originate at the end of a patient cable and the other end plugs into the ECG recorder. The patient cable connects different leads from the limbs and the chest to the defibrillator protection circuit. Defibrillator protection circuit. It consists of buffer amplifier and over voltage protection circuit. The leads are connected with the buffer amplifier such that one buffer amplifier for each patient lead. Totally four leads. The over voltage protection circuit is necessary to avoid any damage to the bio amplifiers in a recorder. It consists of a network of resistors and neon lamps. Lamp wires, when a pulse from a deep fibrillator is present during firing of neon lamp. There is no output to the pre-amplifiers of the recorder. Lead selector switch. It is used to feed the input voltage from the appropriate electrode to the pre-amplifier. It also includes the resistors necessary for the unipolar leads. Next block is calibrator. A push button allows the insertion to calibrate the recorder. Modern recorders are stable and their sensitivity does not change with time. If we change the setting of the lead selected switch, it introduces an artifact on the recorded trees. A special contact on the lead selector switch turns off the amplifier momentarily and it turns it on against after the artifact is passed. From the lead selector switch, the ECG signal goes to bio amplifier. Now, bio amplifier it consists of pre amplifier and power amplifier circuit. The pre-amplifier is a differential amplifier with CMRR, that is common mode rejection ratio. The pre-amplifier also provides a switch to set gain or sensitivity. Pre-amplifier also avoid problems with small DC voltage from the polarization of the electrodes. Now, power amplifier. Pre amplifier is followed by an AC amplifier called pin amplifier, which provides power to drive the pin motor that records the actual ECG trace. Input of pin amplifier is accessed separately with a special auxiliary input at the side of ECG recorder. ECG recorder we are going to discuss now. ECG recorder can be used to record the output of electrocardiogram. A position control on the pen amplifier makes it possible to center the pen on the recording paper. All modern ECG recorders use heat sensitive paper and the pen is actually an electrically heated stylus. The temperature can be adjusted with a stylus heat control for optional recording trees. Generally, electrocardiogram is recorded at a paper speed of 
25 millimeter per second but fast speed of 540 millimeter per second is provided to allow better resolution buffer amplifier buffer amplifiers are used to increase the input impedance and they reduce the effect of variations in electrode impedance buffer amplifier is used for each patient lead power switch ECG recorder has three positions of power switch. First one is on position. Amplifier turned on, but paper drive not running. Second position is run position. Paper drive starts running. The third position is off position. ECG unit switch off. Isolated power supply is used to give power to the bioamplifier. It is used to increase the electrical safety of the patient. Output unit. Output unit is a CRO, that is a cathode ray oscilloscope or a paper chart recorder. In case of paper chart recorder, the power amplifier or pen amplifier supplies the required power to drive pen motor. So far we have discussed about the ECG recording unit. Now we will discuss about the practical considerations for ECG recording. Before recording ECG, the operator should check the patient should not touch or make contact with any metal object remove or unplug any electrical appliances from patient's body test the polarity of ecg machine before connecting the cable to patient and correct amount of paste or jelly have been applied to all electrodes analysis of ecg curves the following waveform shows the ECG signals generation and function. If the normal conduction system is disturbed, therefore the heart rate will be slower than the normal rate. This state is called hot block. There are different types of hot blocks. They are First degree AV block is represented here. The reason for this first degree AV block is due to prolonged conduction time. Second degree AV block. The reason for second degree AV block is due to conduction of fewer pulses instead of all from atrium. Third degree AV block. The reason for third degree AV block is due to asynchronous action of atrium and ventricle. Bundle block. The reason for bundle block is due to improper conduction of the stimulus to the ventricle. Adams Stokes attack. The reason for this Adams Stokes attack is due to sudden attack of total block atrial fibrillation the reason for the atrial fibrillation is due to fast beating rate that is 300 to 500 beats per minute of the atrium here ventricles beat very slowly ventricular fibrillation the reason for the ventricular fibrillation is due to fast beating of ventricles no pumping of the blood to different parts of the body during ventricular fibrillation. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.